So for my project, I wanted to make a game in Scratch. And I haven't really done any of this before, so it's kind of new to me. And yeah. So I use these sources and tutorials to help me learn. It, it wasn't that difficult to learn, but I mean, self-teaching was also used because it wasn't that hard to learn once you figured it out. So I had to make each individual character. <clears throat> so I watched tutorials on character design. And then I started designing this character. And I was like, was, this is one of the first characters I made. And I, I didn't know how to do it. So I had to make it my, myself. And then these two on the right side of the screen, I made those later on and introduced new things like on the guy with the yellow face, his hair's got a little darker shade in it, so it mixes two colors. And then I ended up doing the, like better movements, so it looks like fuller, looks complete. <clears throat> the third guy, I added facial hair on him, and I think I did that with everyone else too. And then each person had a different dunk, so the objective of the game was really to like, you click on a character, like this this picture at the bottom in the middle shows the game front page. And what you do is you click on a character and then they run up and dunk the ball. Each person has a different movement, so that's cool. <clears throat> and then in the bottom left, you got this picture of a sound recording. The cheers and whistles were default sounds in Scratch, so they were easy to use. And then I had to download this basketball dunk sound, so that it, so that when you dunk the ball, it would make sounds and be cool. And then week, and then week four is when I started to realize that I had more time to do things. So I, so I, I made a new guy and then finished all the codes and everything else. And then originally the characters they were like out of order, they were overlapping each other. So I moved them into the position you could see here, and it ended up working better than I thought. <clears throat> so what I learned is like to pro you need to problem solve and be patient with stuff. It's like because if something messes up, you might get mad and restart everything. But what I learned is that you just keep pushing through it and then I also learned how to make basic game design and characters and scratch and this picture has the code for what I did for the character that's in the air right now <clears throat> so now I'll go over to the game and demonstrate it to you so what you do you click on the character for example this guy <laughs> You could click on any of them, so like this guy. And then some of them have different cheer noises, but they all have the same referee whistle sound and <clears throat> dunk sound. And then this guy. So with this first guy, what I did is he kept the same face the whole time until like week three. And <clears throat> I realized that it was kind of boring to have the same face. So what I did is like during the dunk process, I made his eyes get like bigger and make his face look angrier. And then his mouth, I made that get bigger too. So right there, when he's in the middle, his mouth gets big. And then... This guy, this was the third guy that I made, and this guy was first, and this guy was second. They don't really look that good because they don't have like actual eyeballs, like this guy, this guy, and this guy. They just have dots because I was still testing, but I wanted to keep them. And then, so he was the first like really the character I made. <clears throat> so the eyes, I had to make eyeballs and everything. Basically, overall, it was like. Sometimes it would be frustrating, like, when I couldn't, I tried to make it so when you click on a certain sprite, like this guy, then all the other guys would hide, 
but I couldn't find a way to do that. I kept looking at tutorials and everything, none of them had that. So I just ended up putting them over here so it wouldn't overlap, because if I, if I go with um, this guy, let's say, if I, if I move him over here, then some of the characters like this, that one's, in, that one's in front of the guy, but like, I think it's one of the guys that, it's not that guy then, it's this guy. So if I put them right here, because originally they're all lined up like in this area right here, and then I realized that when you click on a certain dude like this guy, he, part of his body is behind the guy. Same with, I think, this guy. As you can see, when he runs up the dunk, his body is behind the other guy, so I had to problem solve and fix that. But yeah, overall, I think it was really fun to do, and Maybe I'll do something like Unity or something to make another game some other time, but yeah.